The media have exposed those pesky royals. It's the photograph the world was waiting for. These were not the headlines Kensington Palace was hoping for. It has erupted into a scandal. It's a completely self-inflicted wound. It's a real problem, I think, for, for Catherine and William. We are a disaster this morning. Palace is going to have so much to answer for, and I rightly agree. so. I agree. The biggest story of the day, which in itself shows what an absolute madhouse the news media have become, saw a kill notice issued by the media agencies to demand that this photograph be deleted and not used. Why? Well, because apparently the photo had been manipulated, which is an interesting choice of media word because one of the cuffs on the kids had been modified and bits tidied up. Kate tweaks a hand in one of Will's snaps and is villainized, yet I give myself a better tan in a holiday photo or Mandy down the road completely catfishes a bloke on Tinder with an ancient, overly filtered photo and that's just normal life. And of course, Twitter went mad for it. I'm not calling it X, formerly known as Twitter. I just love the idea of Wills whipping out his cannon, which is what it was taken on, by the way, according to the metadata, which the media have been diving into like they're on CSI Kensington, and weighing up whether he should use the 50 mil or the 85 mil, and Kate's getting teasy with him to get on with it before the kids get fed up. Then she's sitting there at night after the kids have gone to bed, making her way through a bottle of wine whilst going through the rules in Lightroom, whilst listening to some chilled photo editing playlist on Spotify. Then, realising the horror that someone's looking stupid in every single one, and she'll have to move them onto Photoshop to do the job. But if all photos that had this level of manipulation were banned from social media, it would become an empty wasteland of old people's accidental selfies and badly parked cars. I mean, I can't believe it. The British royals, icons of grace and poise, caught red-handed in a scandalous Photoshop fail. Not secret romances or hidden treasures, but something shockingly mundane yet outrageous. Part of the reason the media seems to have gone ham on Kate is probably because of the first official photograph of the Princess of Wales to be released after her abdominal surgery two months ago, taken by her husband, the Prince of Wales, and released to coincide with Mother's Day. Yet, Rather than have empathy for a woman recovering from surgery on a day all about family, they piled in and whipped up a storm in a teacup because they're all peed off that the royal family won't tell us all the details about her operation. People do have a right to at least some information, don't they? One news site even went as far as to say, and I quote, Courtney Hobbs, a photographer, told the Times, straight away, you can tell there's something not right about this photo. I mean, oh. Right, before I go any further, this is absolute rubbish. 99% of people seeing this photo in no way thought anything was wrong. She said a major red flag is the panelling behind Prince Louis's leg, where you can see the white step in front of the door has not been correctly aligned. But why would you use a clone stamp to do that in such a small area? It's been through Photoshop, but they've done a bad job and they've made a basic error on it. I didn't realise we expect our royals to be Photoshop experts unless I miss William's expert tutorials on flan. In our image-obsessed world, even royalty succumbs to the temptation of the perfect edit. Yet to some, their blunders give them right to attack. Will they now release the original photograph and tell us exactly when it was taken? To me, it just makes them more relatable, revealing the pressures we all face to look just right. And if my photo was going out to half the world on social media and on the news, you're damn right I'd want it to be tweaked to be the best it can be. The irony of all the times the royals try to be seen as just like regular people and the time they're caught up in a scandal is actually the most relatable. Photoshop has been used for heinous acts of deception, which has now largely been usurped by AI. And yet, the apparent tweaking of a cuff has become some sort of evil crime. A certain type of people will love to say, I'm missing the point and the media have exposed the royals for what they are. The media have exposed William and Kate for what they are. Just like us, all struggling with photography and Photoshop.